Hello everyone, welcome to our class 10. This is second class of 4.3 of graphing rational functions. So in this class, these are the topics, testing if graph intersects horizontal or oblique asymptotes, drawing graphs from points and asymptotes, and there are some practice, etc. First one is testing, uh, testing the asymptotes for intersections. How can we do it? See, first of all, some function is given and as you can see in this from this function what type of asymptote we will get uh, in between horizontal and oblique and see the power in the numerator is one more than the denominator this is one this is two power so this is one more that means this will have oblique asymptote and if you divide it long division method if you divide it then our oblique asymptote will be x plus one so now our question is is there any intersection testing the asymptotes for the intersection this is this is our uh, objective for this so to test it we will put this is y equal to and fx is uh, to, as you know fx we will put this x plus 1 here this x plus 1 we will put it here okay instead of this fx or instead of this uh, uh, y this way so when you put it here you see this is x plus 1 and this is x minus 1 then we can multiply them here is the calculation so this is x square plus 1 divided by x minus 1 this term is here then instead of fx we will put whatever we have found here then this will go there if we do the multiplication we will get x square minus 1 because it is a plus b into a minus b that means a square minus b square now see from the both side we can cancel out we can cancel out our this x square and x square we can cancel out then what is remaining here is 1 minus 1 one cannot be equal to minus one right as you know so that means this this oblique asymptote do not have any intersection this is how we test it so the rule is first of all you will find out the asymptote then you will put it there again back in the question in the other side then do some simplification if you get some answer that will be the then then there is some interception for example this one this is also another question see x square then 3x square so here power is same same uh, for the for both x in the numerator and denominator that means this is our uh, some horizontal asymptote will come and horizontal asymptote will be the coefficient of this x square and this x square that means 3 divided by 1 that means 3 so horizontal asymptote is y equal to 3 now we will put this 3 back to this question here and we will see what happens this is the uh, this is the work process 3x square minus 20, 24 divided by this equal to 3 equals to this three this question equal to this three then we will do some simplification as you see this is uh, we can do some cross multiplication here after the cross multiplication this comes here then some simplification 3x square 3x square is cancelled out from the both side then we have 24 equals to 12x this 20 this 24 equal to this 12x then we can cancel out uh, by both term by we can divide both term both uh, both of the side size by 12 then we get x equals to 2 that means at x equals to 2 for this question at x equals to 2 we have some interception we have some interception with the asymptote this is how we find it okay so for example this is a question see this question this question actually have everything with it say so this is the question first of all we have to factor it to understand what's going on everywhere because we need to find out our horizontal asymptote, the vertical asymptote, we need to find out our x intercept, y intercept, etc. etc. So, this factoring thing is needed first. And if you are wondering how to do this factoring, you can do it by finding the real zero also. Yeah, real zero, what is the real zero? So, factor of 3, then put it back here, plus 1, minus 1, then test it where it is 0, then you will get the real zero. Then, from the real zero, you will find the factor, then you can just write it this way and if some other simplification process is also of course if you can there are some i mean in some maths there are some other simplification methods also then you are uh, yeah you are allowed to do uh, any methods that's not a problem then we have then we have in this question we have our x intercepts x intercepts comes from our uh, numerator or in other words you can say if i put y equal to zero what will happen so you see if you put y equal to zero here if you put y equal to 0 here, 0 into x square means 0. That means from this two term now my uh, x intercept will come. If it is x plus 3, minus 3 will be the intercept. If it is x uh, minus 1, 
then plus one will be the intercept then go here you have no uh, y intercept in this question because as you can see if i put x equal to zero here x equal to zero here x equal to zero here as in the denominator we have some x squared that means my entire function is undefined at x equal to zero that's why there is no there is no y intercept in other in other words zero is not in the domain that's why because uh, in the domain you will see zero is not included eh? x squared that means we have to eliminate zero from the domain that's why vertical asymptote at x equal to zero vertical asymptote comes from the numerator uh, as it is as there is nothing else uh, here so basically x equal to zero is the vertical asymptote oblique asymptote to get the oblique asymptote we have to divide we have to divide this so x square then x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 3 so we have to divide this term and if you divide it you will get x square plus 1 now you can say so sometimes uh, from we do it from the from the uh, simplification from, from the simplified version of the question but why we are doing it from the question okay the reason is actually this for this question simplification this term and this is both is same thing just it is written in the factor form there is all the terms is still present here what we have got uh, what was there here in this term okay so everything is there there is no simply there is no cancellation happened here basically this question and this question is same thing this line and this line is same thing Th that is that is the reason in other words we cannot do division here directly we again we have to multiply it to divide by x squared that's why we have to do it from here this is this is the thing this is the reason does the function intersect the oblique asymptote so as we have oblique asymptote we have to put it back here then multiply this this value with this and do some simplification do some simplification uh, to get the interception and let's check it see this this x cube x square minus 5x plus 3 divided by x square this equal to we have to put this instead of fx so you put it here then you multiply these two things after the multiplication we get this then uh, see x cube x cube both sides and x square x square both sides you can cancel them out then we get x equal to 3 by 5 if you get x equal to some number that means now we have some in, in our graph actually intersects the oblique asymptote at x equal to 3 by 4 3 by 5 at x equal to 3 by 5 our graph actually will intersect that oblique asymptote this is the oblique asymptote our graph will intersect oblique asymptote at 3 by 5 you, you will see the drawing also in a while and this is the only solution this is the only solution that means the, this at this point only at this point our graph will have interception with interception with uh, the uh, asymptote so this is uh, the uh, graphing now this is the x intercept minus 3 comma 1 so this is minus 3 comma 1 x intercept this is the vertical asymptote uh, equation of this line this is uh, y equal to x plus 1 this is the equation of that line uh, this is the line and this is the equation and x equal to 0 is the vertical asymptote so x equal to 0 is here x equal to 0 is here this is the vertical asymptote then our graph see that that things where graph crosses the oblique asymptote this is the point this is the point that uh, where the graph crosses the oblique asymptote then we can uh, think about like what are the other values eh? near value some near behavior near value actually we can find out suppose we have got some interception here so what about let's put some value in the function some uh, value less than uh, closer to this closer to this point let's say this point or this point you can test and some other points here some other points here etc etc we can test then by putting all these additional points we'll draw the graph and our graph there are some uh, conditions never uh, intersects of vertical asymptote so see what this line is saying is very sensitive suppose we have some line coming this way that means this line will go this way it, this line will not cross over to that line but if something is here if something comes this way it will it can it can cross the oblique asymptote through this point because there is some interception here so if there is something here this oblique asymptote for this oblique asymptote graph can actually cross through this point because we have got some interception here but say you can say sir so what about this point or this point is it is it possible that this point through this point my graph cross this line answer is no because we have just got one that kind of point through which my graph can go so this is the significance of this spatial point point okay but for the vertical asymptote this is very restrictive 
our through the vertical asymptote no graph will pass through the vertical asymptote all right so yeah this is that point only through this point my graph can go so this is our actual graph after the drawing this is the graph and we have got some in this point here this point here so wh what about this point you can say sir how do i know that the graph will go this way plot some point okay suppose x equal to 5 put this x equal to 5 in the question you will get this point okay you will get answer will come this point suppose you have got this point and this point so you have idea that my graph will be like this like this somewhat when you get some point here points here then suppose you already have got this point so put minus 5 in the question then you will get this point then put some less value here then you will get this point so when you get this point this point and this point then you will automatically understand graph will be like this because graph will come closer and closer to the asymptote this is the rule so we have got asymptote here so if the if some graph comes this way it will come come closer and closer to this line so this is that but it will not cross over it or it will not touch it it will not touch it it will not cross it but it will come closer and closer here this side also the graph will go closer and closer to the vertical asymptote but it will not go over it it will not cross it it will not touch it this side also same rules okay so this is the idea to draw the graph now see suppose in this case this is uh, interesting actually suppose all these points are given okay these are the points given points this these blue dots these are the points given points this is the vertical asymptote this is the horizontal asymptote this is our uh, uh, this is the this one and this one is vertical asymptote this is the horizontal asymptote and these are our given points now how you will draw the graph this is the question suppose no question is given nothing is given these are the thing what is given now how can you draw the graph suppose you found this someone found it and they gave you this now draw draw the graph for rational function so how can you draw it there are some you have to include all the blue points this is the condition approaches asymptotes so your graph should approach the asymptote come closer and closer to the asymptote approach means that never intersects the vertical asymptotes see this is very sensitive graph cannot intersect the vertical asymptotes then only intersects horizontal and oblique asymptotes at marked by blue points so there is one blue points here that means my graph can intersect this point only here suppose here graph cannot intersect this point graph cannot intersect this point only on this line only at this point graph can intersect this means that then passes the vertical line test vertical line test means no x value has more than one value one y value so vertical line suppose you cannot draw a circle like this then one x value will have two y value you will see it i will explain it when the graph comes suppose this one do you think this graph is true what do you think according to this condition do you think this graph is correct see what what are the mistakes what are the mistakes let me let me this this one is the mistake approaches the asymptote see look at this graph is not approaching the asymptote graph is going this is the asymptote graph is going away from the asymptote this thing should come closer and closer to this asymptote okay so this line is the mistake and there are more line mistake here also you can see one suppose this is minus 4 okay for minus 4 you have graph one time here for minus 4 again you have graph here yeah, this is this is the vertical line test actually i am explaining then for this point see see for this point you have graph one time here again for the same point you have graph another time here that means vertical line test fa test fails then only intersects horizontal and oblique asymptote as blue marked graph should only intersect here but see the graph is going through this point also that means here is also another mistake that means this graph is wrong this is a mistake graph okay suppose this graph is it true so i think now you have got some idea that this is also false because see my asymptote is here and my asymptote is here the graph is going randomly eh, without any rules with the graph this graph is not following any rules without without just just the will of mind the graph is flowing whatever it likes so for example graph intersected the vertical line also very sensitive vertical line also horizontal line again so if you just join all the points this is not the answer okay this is not the answer you have to you have to maintain all the rules all the rules you have to maintain so see these are the mistake here what uh, in this graph we have this mistake approaches the asymptote no no it did not 
never intersect vertical asymptote. See, vertical asymptote is intersected here and intersected here. Only intersect horizontal and oblique asymptote at marked blue point. It should only intersect here, but it intersected here also. So all of these are mistakes. All right. So now look at this. Is it, is it, is it correct? See, see. So, so the graph is coming closer to the this this asymptote. Correct. Graph is come going closer to that horizontal asymptote. Correct. See this. The this is the blue dot. So the graph is uh, just cross that blue dot one time. Then it it was going uh, down and it is going closer to this vertical asymptote. Correct. This side is also correct because there is some asymptote. So graph is going closer to the asymptote. You can say, sir, from here why not gra graph goes there? Actually, you see, look at the trend. Trend is telling that graph will go to go near to this asymptote. So that's why this asymptote. And this one, look at this one. From this point, graph is going closer to this asymptote and graph is going closer to this other asymptote, which is horizontal here. So look, it looks like all the rules are okay. Yeah, see this, this, this. For this question, for this drawing, all the rules are followed. All the rules are followed. So this is how we draw the graph of irrational functions. We, this is how we draw the gra graph of irrational functions. We have to maintain all these conditions. We have to maintain the rules. We cannot just all of a sudden connect the points. Okay, this is very important. All right. So I think that's it. We have, a, a, I mean, many other materials with this uh, in this uh, course, but. I discussed the uh, very very important slides here for this functions actually you will see there are a lot of other uh, examples works and uh, many other things here included with this uh, for this class we will play this game in the class hopefully in the class and in fact we covered all the necessary things others are extension and uh, extension of the concepts topics etc etc especially like how do we find the intersection here? How do we find the intersection for the just simple straight line? Intersection means this point. Inter for example, this this equation of a straight line is given. This equation is of a straight line is given. How do we find the intersection? We we have to write this equal to this. Then we have to find out the value of x. That will be the intersection. If you get some, if you get get some value of x, that will be the intersection. For that x value, both at that x value, both of the graph will intersect. This is the method for testing uh, lines for intersection. And actually same methods, same methods we used, we applied for finding the interception of this kind of question also. This interception also, if we, we use the same technique actually. So, all right, thank you all, thank you very much. This is very important slide, uh, important slide actually. All the uh, many, many really, really important concepts and material is covered here. Uh, I hope it works and it helps. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.